In this example, I need to solve for h in the equation v equals one-third pi r squared h. This equation here is the equation to find the volume of a right circular cone. And so I'm going to have to solve a formula or literal equation for a specified variable. So let's quickly review how to do that. To solve a formula for a specified variable, we treat that variable as if it were the only variable in the equation. We treat all other variables as if they were numbers. So in this equation, I'm trying to get h all by itself. Since the equation involves fractions, I think the simplest thing to do will be to get rid of our fractions before we do anything else. So I need to find the least common denominator. That's very easy. I only have one denominator, so that is the LCD. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3. So I get 3 times V equals, on the right-hand side, since one-third is a fraction, I'm going to turn my LCD into a fraction by dividing it by 1. So I have 3 divided by 1 multiplied by the right-hand side of one-third pi r squared h. These two threes reduce, so I get 3v equals 1 times 1 is 1, divided by 1 times 1 is 1, 1 over 1 is 1, so the only thing on the right-hand side is pi r squared h. Now remember, we're solving for h, so I need to get h all by itself on one side of the equation. How are the pi and the r squared attached to the h? They're attached by multiplication, so we're going to undo that by dividing both sides by pi r squared. This pi r squared reduces with that pi r squared, and on the right-hand side, I just have 1 times h divided by 1, which is just h, equals 3v all divided by pi r squared. Or more conventionally, we can write h equals 3v over pi r squared. So I have solved that literal equation or formula for h.